this is Matt from Ace Appliance in Toledo, Ohio. Welcome back to another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by Appliancevideo.com. Okay, well what we have is a Maytag portable dishwasher. Uh, customer's complaint is they're getting a leak out of the bottom right hand corner. So we've got the dishwasher hooked up, the uh, water turned on, we're just going to go ahead and run it. Okay, uh, well what we're going to want to check for here is like a hairline crack in the spray arm itself. So we're going to go ahead and remove the spray arm. Uh, you hold the, this nut stationary and spin the spray arm counterclockwise. And the spray arm will lift right off. And the uh, easy way is take like a pocket knife or a flathead screwdriver and just sort of run it run it along the seam and look for any separations in the spray arm it's okay it's all right a lot of times the heat will cause these to separate and then what will happen is they'll spray water directly out at the door. Which this one, I do not see any cracks whatsoever on the spray arm. So the spray arm is not going to be the problem. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just reinstall the lower spray arm here. Just hold the nut stationary. And uh, spin it clockwise. You want to be careful, make sure you don't cross thread it. Because it is just plastic. You don't need to over tighten it. Just kind of snug it up. Okay, well what we got, I mean this dishwasher here, the fill level is very close to this bottom lip. So where if you get any over sudsing or anything like that, that water is going to run right up underneath this edge. There's no bottom seal on this particular unit. So if you get anything water running up that way, I mean it's going to run right up and out. To check the water level, if you kind of lift up on the float, you should hear a click. And that's going to indicate that basically our water level that we have here is still within the acceptable range because where the float's sitting, it could still go a, a little bit higher and still be within the acceptable range. This is going to be just on like a timed fill cycle or if that water level reaches the, the point where the float lifts and uh, removes power to the micro switch, opens the micro switch, that kills power to the inlet valve. Okay, I uh, just kind of visually did an inspection on the door gasket here, made sure there was no rips, tears. Looks like the door's seating up properly. So basically what we're going to do is advise the customer to use a little bit less soap on their wash cycles and um, they're still running into leaks, then the next step would be replacement of the door gasket. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the rack back in. And I'm just gonna let it run a little bit longer here to see if we can actually see any kind of a leak. Okay, uh, and this is just after running it for a little while. We did not add any soap whatsoever. And you see how many suds there are in here without, without even putting any soap in the unit. Uh, another thing you want to check for is just make sure that the jet dry isn't leaking out. Which this, the dispenser is still full, so this one isn't. If a dis jet dry dispenser is leaking, when you fill it up, you tip totally dry the door off then tip it up and let it sit for a while and you would see some streaking down the door. If the jet dry dispenser is leaking that's also going to cause excessive suds which could give you a leak. Thank you for watching another quality video from appliancevideo.com Hello, this is Matt from Ace Appliance in Toledo, Ohio. Welcome back to another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by appliancevideo.com. Okay, well what 
Okay, well what we have is a Maytag portable dishwasher. Uh, customer's complaint is they're getting a leak out of the 